The postal vote on same-sex marriage is looming and I have no interest in throwing fuel on the fire or aggravating the sense of antagonism that we've seen. By now, the arguments for and against same-sex marriage are well enough known to anyone who wants to know them, even if much of the debate has been too shallow or slick or sentimentalised to do real justice to the deeper issues. There's no need for me to go over well-trodden ground, but in a debate where the language has often been slippery, it might help to clarify a few points that can be unclear. So I ask, is same-sex marriage about love? Now, there are many forms of love, parent and child, siblings, friends, carers, and so on. But not all of them are nuptial. In fact, only one form is nuptial, the love of man and woman, which is free, lifelong, and open to children. Other forms of love may indeed be love, and they often are, and that means that they have real value. But it doesn't mean that they are or could become marriage. Is it all about equality? Well, it's true that all human beings are equal, but that doesn't mean that they are the same. Same-sex marriage ideology implies that equality means sameness, but it doesn't. I may be different, but I'm still equal. Marriage policy has almost always discriminated against certain people. Parents can't marry their children. Brother and sister can't marry. Those under age can't marry, nor can people of the same sex. But that doesn't make them any less equal. Is it all about civil rights? Here the link is made to women's rights and racial equality but the law already offers ample protection for people in same-sex unions in a way that certainly wasn't true of women or people of other races in earlier times. Are people in same-sex unions, for instance, excluded from voting, entering shops or using public transport? Justice can be done to people in same-sex unions and their human dignity can be respected without resorting to an artificially constructed right to marry. Are those who don't favour same-sex marriage homophobic and bigoted? Well, it's possible to oppose same-sex marriage in ways that are respectful and open-minded. But in an ideologically conditioned world of all or nothing, or black and white, anyone who opposes same-sex marriage is often denigrated in an attempt to silence or discredit them. And there's a violence in this, which is resistant to the truthful debate we need. Now, this debate is about the meaning of marriage. And that's why it's important that everyone have their say in the postal vote. I'll be voting no, not because I wish ill of any kind on those in same-sex unions who have the same need for love and the same right to happiness as anyone else. I'll be voting no because I think it's the only way available of affirming values which are fundamental to true human flourishing and of guarding against unwanted consequences in the long term. A no vote may seem negative, but in a debate where things have rarely been what they seem, no is yes and yes is no.